After two decades, the controversial figurehead of Abercrombie and Fitch, CEO Michael Jeffries, has retired as chief executive. The retirement comes less than a year after Jeffries was stripped of his chairman title. In a statement, Jeffries said it has been an honor to lead this extraordinarily talented group of people. I believe now is the right time for new leadership to take the company forward. The company hasn't been doing well in recent years, with brands like H&M and Forever 21 luring away the brand's once loyal young audience with much lower prices. Fortune notes Abercrombie, as well as its peers, American Eagle and Air Apostle, have found themselves out of favor and out of style with the sale of logo-adorned shirts and other apparel. And Jeffrey's contentious comments and policies over the years haven't helped. The viral backlash against Abercrombie and Fitch, its sizing policies, and now infamous CEO just won't quit. This is the absolute largest size you can buy there. This is the smallest. Some of his most colorful comments come from a 2006 Salon interview, a year before the Abercrombie and Fitch brand hit its peak on the market in 2007 at $84 a share. He told Salon, candidly, we go after the cool kids. A lot of people don't belong in our clothes and they can't belong. Are we exclusionary? Absolutely. Like most companies, the brand took an incredible hit in 2008, dropping to less than $15 per share, but it is yet to truly rebound. Abercrombie's stock jumped from $26 to $28 upon news of Jeffrey's retirement. No one has been chosen to take Jeffrey's place, but Arthur Martinez, the non-executive chairman of the board, has been moved to executive chairman to oversee day-to-day -day operations while the company searches for a new CEO. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.